Hi, hello, welcome back to Max Ninjas. Today we are going to study the congruence criterion. First one is SSS congruence criteria, then ASA congruence criteria, then SAS congruence criteria, then the last one is RHS congruence criteria. Congruence criteria. How many congruence criteria are here? Four types. First one is S S S congruence criteria. Then second one is S A S congruence criteria. Then third one is A S A. Congruence criteria. Then last one is R S S congruence congruence criteria. So today, whenever we are studying a topic, we should know why we are studying this. Okay. So today we are going to study why we are studying S S S congruence criteria. So our topic is SSS congruence criteria. Before studying that, we can listen the voice of Alan and Anna. They are going to play a game. We can listen their voice. I have drawn a triangle ABC. Alan, you have to draw a same triangle ABC. I give you a clue. What side is five centimeter? So. After getting the clue, Alan's drawing is like this. See, one side is 5 cm and he has drawn a triangle like this. Then again, one more triangle he has drawn, 5 cm. One side is 5 cm. For this triangle too, one side is 5 cm. Then, This is also, for this triangle, one side is 5 cm. So, he got three types of triangle. One, two, three types of triangle. So, he told that, Anna, you should give me one more clue. I'll give you one more clue. The other side is 3 cm. So, again, he tried to draw triangles. 5 cm. First side is 5 cm. Then the next side is 3 cm. He drawn a triangle like this. Then 5 cm. 3 cm. Then 5 cm. 3 cm like this. From these two clues, he got three types of triangles. So he told that this is not possible. I can't draw the triangle ABC as you wish. Then he asked for the next clue. Then the last clue. I won't give you much more than this. Length of the third side is 6 cm. So we got three sides of the triangle. So after getting three sides, 5 cm, 3 cm, then 6 cm. 5 cm, 3 cm and the last side is 6 cm. 
So he got one and only one triangle, the same triangle Anna has drawn. Triangle A, B, C. So you can see Anna's and Alan's triangles are congruent. So for finding the congruent triangle, we need three things. Side, side and side. That's why we will call this criteria as S, S, S congruence criteria. S stands for side, 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 side congruence criteria. S, S, S means side, side, side congruence criteria. S, S, S congruence criteria says that if under a given correspondence, the three sides of the triangle are equal to the three corresponding sides of the other triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So from this criteria, we can say that we want only three sides. Otherwise, we have to check all the three sides. See, A, B, C and D, E, F. These are the two congruent triangles. So, we were checking all the three sides and three angles are equal or not. All the corresponding three sides and three angles are equal or not. We were checking that A is equal to D and B is D is equal to E and is C is equal to F and AB is AB is equal to DE is BC is equal to EF and AC is equal to BF. Now from this criteria we don't have to check for the angles. We have to only check the three sides. That means Triangle ABC is congruent to DEF. Only the sides we have to check. AB and DE, BC and EF, AC and DF. After studying this SSS congruence criteria, very easily we can check that are these two triangles are congruent or not. No need of checking the angles. We have to check only the sides of two triangles. I hope you enjoyed my class. If you have any doubt about this SSS congruence criteria, definitely ask to me through comment box. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe and support me. Signing off, Femi Bijoy. In the next class, we can go through ASA congruence criteria. Hope you enjoyed my class.